In addition to making common grammatical mistakes with personal pronouns, uh, developing writers often mistake some personal pronouns for other similar sounding words. So let's take a look at some commonly confused personal pronouns. And we'll begin with its versus its. It's without the apostrophe, that's your possessive third person singular pronoun. While it's with the apostrophe, that's a contraction for two words, it is. Your versus your, your without the apostrophe, that's your possessive second person singular or plural pronoun because you is both singular or plural depending on how it's used. Uh, your with the apostrophe re, well that's a contraction for you are. Finally, their versus their versus their, T-H-E-I-R is your possessive third person plural pronoun. T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E, that's a contraction for they are. And T-H-E-R-E, -E, that is what we call a pro-adverb, and it identifies a place, like over there, go over there, there is a place, that sort of thing. Okay. This, believe it or not, is a somewhat commonly tested SAT-ACT skill. You won't see a lot of questions like this because it is pretty basic stuff, but you will see this on SAT-ACT, so go ahead and mark that in your notebooks. And now go ahead and complete some exercises over distinguishing these commonly confused personal pronouns.